For these statements, we want to decide if they are true or false. So for the first one, we see that we have the set 1, 3, 5, and then that symbol that I see is a subset symbol. So is 1, 3, 5 a subset of 1, 3, 5, and 7? Well, this is a true statement because 1, 3, and 5 are the same elements in the second set, and it's just a smaller um, subset of that, so that is true. 4, would the set AB be a proper subset of AB? So if you remove that line underneath of it, it's a proper subset. Well, this is false. A proper subset can't contain the same exact elements. It has to be smaller than the original. 5, x such that x is an element of the natural numbers n, so it's a counting number, and x is greater than 10. So here, this is counting numbers greater than 10. So I have 11, 12, 13, 14, and so on. Would that be a proper subset of the natural numbers? So all natural numbers would be 1, 2, 3, and so on. So this is true. It is a proper subset. It's not as large as the natural numbers. It's smaller. So now let's look at number 6. Is 210 not, so when we draw this symbol through it, that's not a proper subset of 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10? That's false. This set is a proper subset because it's smaller in size and it does have this um, 2 and 10 are listed in the original. Is the set RST not a proper subset of TSR? That's true. They have the same exact elements, same size, but a proper subset must be smaller in size. 8. Is Lake Erie and Lake Huron a subset of the set of Great Lakes? That is true. Is the empty set a proper subset of 5, 10, and 15? That's true because the empty set has no elements and it's smaller in size than the 5, 10, and 15. The empty set is a proper subset of every set. 10. Is u, v, w, and x a subset of x, w, u? Well, that is false, and the reason is because even though x, w, and u are listed here, this one has an extra element in it. So in order for it to be a subset, it has to have the same elements here or it has to be smaller than this one. It can't go the other way. 11, is the set containing 0 a subset of the empty set? No, it is not. That's because this set does contain an element in it, whereas the empty set has no elements. And the last one, is the empty set a proper subset of the empty set? Well, that would be false. The empty set is a subset of itself and every other set, but it's not a proper subset of itself.